The smiles were mixed with tears of joy during an emotional reunion in Nigeria's Zamfara state. I'm happy, I'm happy. Other parents thank God for their return. The girls described a harrowing experience that left some injured and in need of medical attention. While we were trekking, they hit us with guns and beat us with a cane, says 15-year-old Farida Lawali. Others say the kidnappers threatened to shoot them. Authorities say ransom was not paid, though experts say it's common practice in this part of Nigeria. The state governor says they were able to secure their release through negotiations. This is the boarding school where the 279 students were taken at gunpoint Friday. Many schools in the country lack security, which make them an easy target, and children a very valuable one. It's all about opportunity. Can you just walk in and have the opportunity to uh, kidnap three, four, six, seven hundred uh, children? I think it's really just about the willingness of criminal structures to uh, dare to do this right now. The 2014 kidnapping of hundreds of girls from the Nigerian town of Chibok captured the world's attention. Terrorist group Boko Haram took credit for it, and also for a kidnapping this past December. But in this most recent case, and another at a boys' school days before, there is no affiliation with any terrorist organization. A lot of kidnappings happening. Every day. This Nigerian security analyst says paying ransom encourages kidnappers, not only in schools. People are scared. People are worried. And we're looking up to the government to step in. But at the moment, we're not really seeing that much traction or that much movement from the government. But the government vows it will protect these girls and others, saying it will go after kidnappers and end these heartbreaking incidents. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, London.